My family, UK tablets, have no sources close to Harry Meghan. They have none. They know nothing about what Harry and Meghan are doing. They have no idea even that Harry remained in the UK and did not immediately leave right after the Well Child Awards. They know nothing about that. I'll show you an example. One carnival of so-called expert called Chris Ship, who vowed years ago that when Harry and Meghan stepped down as senior members of the royal family, they would not even come up under his brief ever. Yesterday, he was ported at the Well Child Charity Awards, whereby the event was taking place, where Harry basically was. My family hear what this guy said yesterday. My family. Speech you've just listened. This event is uh, just wrapping up tonight, but actually Harry went some time ago. He gave that speech you've just listened to. He went straight in his car and he was off uh, on his way to the Invictus Games at Dusseldorf. This event is uh, just wrapping up tonight, but actually Harry went some time ago. He gave that speech you've just listened to. He went straight in his car and he was off uh, on his way to the Invictus Games at Dusseldorf. My family, uh, you've heard what actually... Chris Ship has said. You have heard his very own words about what he said. He said that Prince Harry, right after he left the Well Child Charity, you know, awards, where the event was taking place, Harry headed straight to Germany. Well, that was a lie. That was a lie. A tourist, my family, managed to get a photograph of Prince Harry leaving St. George's Chapel, whereby the late Queen, Harry's grandmother, was laid to rest. Harry was photographed there, leaving St. George's Chapel to pay his respects to his late grandmother who passed away, you know, one year ago. Harry was there to pay his respects. And right when this photo of Harry leaving St. George's Chapel came out, only then did we begin hearing from carnival of so-called experts. You know what? Look, Prince Harry has been photographed leaving St. George's Chapel in Windsor. However, however, you know what? Other members of the royal family have are also said to have gone to St. George's Chapel. No photos, no nothing, no evidence. That is coming from the UK media. That is coming from UK media. That have access to other members of the royal family. Can't get a photograph of other members, the royal family, going to St. George's Chapel to pay their respects to the late queen. My family, they have no photos of other members of the royal family. Only a photo of Harry. Everyone can see, everyone can have access to because a tourist posted that photo. And my family, I have seen some media outlets, my family, some media outlets, basically begging, begging for those photos of Prince Harry, wanting to purchase those photos, my family. And someone called Eileen Grace, basically, sent a text message to the tourist who got the photo of Prince Harry leaving St. George's Chapel. And here is what Eileen Grace posted on Twitter. 
to a person called Amy. And they quote, Hi Amy, I am a journalist with the Press Association. The UK's National News Agency. Could you send me a direct message and someone called Gnal Bronson posted this tweet in response to Eileen Grace message to Amy saying this is it to see how you guys can go after Harry some more people are catching on to the despicable practices of the UK media of how of how they are looking for anything to try and drum up hate or spread hate against Harry Meghan. People are catching on to those evil practices and they refuse to be a part of this hate agenda against Prince Harry. Being undertaken and pushed by senior members of the royal family like William Charles K. Camilla and also the UK tablet press. People are refusing to be a part of that agenda. People are refusing to be a part of this disgusting agenda of being used to target and attack Harry and Meghan, to harass Harry and Meghan. My family, remember what Harry said in the Harry and Meghan docuseries. Prince Harry told us, my family, the harassment years ago was physical whereby they would harass Harry's late mother. This time, the harassment is mostly online, whereby a paparazzi, let's say, you know, takes a photo of you, or anyone gets a photograph of you. And then, a story is put next to that photo, which is what you can immediately clearly want to purchase these photos of Prince Harry. And then a message, you know, a, an opinion piece is written on top of that photograph. And then the trolls swarm in to attack Prince Harry based on what they have read. The harassment is more online. And that is true. Exactly what Harry said. Harry in court also said this. That UK media are the mothership of online trolling. Trolls react and mobilize to stories they create. I have seen that with my own two eyes. While my hate accounts repost, you know, articles from Daily Mail online and use those articles to attack Harry and Meghan. I have seen that with my own two eyes. I can even verify that. So my family, you know, right now, it is good for me. I'm happy to see pushback. People don't want to be used as part of the UK media's hate campaign towards Harry Meghan. They're refusing to be used as part of the media's hate campaign against Prince Harry Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. And I am thankful. I am thankful to every single person who refuses to be used as part of this hate agenda meant to harass, attack, and incite hate against Harry Meghan. Thank you to everyone who refuse to be used by the UK tabloid press who are actively harassing, hounding Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, my family. You know? Thank you. So my family, it is quite telling. It is quite, quite telling, my family, that, first of all, Prince Harry is the one who was spotted going to where the late queen was laid to rest. And I'm sure, my family, that after 
he was sitting there. Now you will have other members of the royal family pretending to go there to pay their respects. That's what you'll see later on. And my family also, it is quite, quite telling. My family. That also, Charles and Camilla are going to separate engagements. The farm is way more divided than ever after the queen passed away. And actually, they have never really ever been united, ever. From the moment they decided to use Meghan as their new scapegoat. My family. I mean, William and Kay Moulton. They went to a cathedral called St. David's Cathedral in Wales, up to 230 miles from Windsor, my family, where Harry was. And my family, and also around an hour earlier, King Charles attended a memorial service to say private prayers at Memorial's Paris Church with his wife, Camilla Parker Bowles. My family, it is very, very telling that after the passing of the late queen, my family, you are seeing even the royal family even way more divided than already they have ever, ever truly been. I mean, they have always been divided, always been, you know, a dysfunctional family. In the words of the late King George, we are not a family. We are a farm. I'm quoting the words of the late King George. We are not a family. We are a farm. We are a farm, my family. No truer words have ever been spoken. And no wonder, on this day, you would think the royal family want to present some kind of united front. But no, my family. They are showing just how much of a dysfunctional, you know, how much of a dysfunctional family they truly, truly are and have always been. My family. But yet, you are having a situation whereby UK media are only focusing on William's feud against Prince Harry. And they're like, you know, Harry and William are divided. It is not just Harry and William who are divided. It is not just them. It is not just them. And also in Harry's most pair, Harry tells us he and William have never ever been close. In Harry's own words, from his most pair, my family, because it appears to me like the tabloids are still pushing this narrative. Oh, you know what? William and Harry were close, but now they are worlds apart. You know, we need to do something. We need to find a way to heal this rift. Why, can, why can't they just speak together, talk to each other, and heal this rift? Coming on the same tabloids who did everything in their power to divide and cause this humongous rift so that they could line their pockets. My family. As Harry said in his memoir spare, my family, I like what Harry said in his memoir spare because really I can draw references to what Harry said because his words are the truth and nothing but the truth. Harry said, the business model of the UK tabloid press depended relied on members of the royal family being constantly at conflict, at conflict, engaged in a conflict. Prince Harry said that. And my family, it is very, very true. And yet, you are having a situation whereby the same, same tablets, my family, even on the front page of the Daily Fail today, are like William and Harry are Walls apart. Walls apart. With them, it is always drama. They're always looking for drama. 
And yet they know they are the ones who caused and created this rift. When they were so happy to go after the woman Harry loves to do the evil bidding of Prince William, to please Prince William, my family, my family, Harry tells us, in his memoir spare, was always blaming Meghan for everything. How he was trying to turn Harry against Meghan, to ruin Harry's life, to destroy the love of Harry's life. You know? My family, I love Harry's memoir spare. And my family, even someone online on Twitter said this, posted this screenshot of basically Daily Mail. Their top story is Prince Harry. Even the photo of Prince Harry, my family, the photo of Prince Harry practically has grabbed a huge section of their home page. Someone posted, you know, a screenshot of the Daily Fails homepage. Whereby it is crystal clear, my family, that the homepage of the Daily Mail carries a huge section of a photograph of Prince Harry leaving St. George's Chapel in Windsor where the Queen is buried. For William and Kate, they have given them just a quarter. Harry, three quarters. <laughs> and yet, you'll have Daily Fail be like, we need to heal this rift. Harry and William need to sit down together and talk. And yet they know about William and Kate's enormous jealousy towards Harry Meghan. And yet, they are doing the exact same thing. Even Harry himself said, the royal family hate. My family, Harry, in the Harry Meghan Rocky series, told us of a moment whereby the Queen, Meghan, Harry, Charles had gone to an engagement my family. And then Meghan was on the front page. For the other members of the royal family, they were given circles, you know, a quarter of the page, like what's happening right now. A quarter of the page, a small section. And my family, Harry, told us. In the royal family, there is so much jealousy. So much jealousy. Whereby, when you who are joining the royal family, you are supposed to be the supporting, you know, in a supporting role. And then you come, join the royal family, and basically have the entire limelight, spotlight on you. It brings out so much jealousy from senior members of the royal family. Harry told us that. Harry told us that. And I recall how Meghan was like what Meghan even said to Prince Harry. But it is not my fault. It is not my fault. And yes, it isn't your fault. And the tablets did what they did to create problems. That's what they did. And they knew exactly what they were doing. And they created problems. And members, the royal family, now wanted to basically smear Megan even more what how they were basically smearing Megan's name even more. And my family, the smear campaign against Megan escalated the attacks, the insults, the bullying, the abuse, all because William, Camilla, Charles, Kate were jealous. Jealous of Megan's enormous star power. Harry and Megan's enormous star power. And they wanted to destroy Harry and Megan. With Megan in particular being the main target. That's what they tried to do. I always remember Megan's words. When she said, okay, fine. We are leaving. 
And guess what? You can be on the front pages of tablets exactly how you want to be on the front pages. But one year later, sorry, not one year later, my family, more than three years later after Harry and Meghan fled Britain, today, Harry is still on the front page of Daily Mail. Still on the homepage. They are dedicating a huge section of their homepage to a story about Harry, saying Harry's solo tribute. My family, are these people who want to heal the rift? No, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. They want to continue creating my family and, you know, creating even more problems and even increasing the rift. That is what they want to continue doing while gaslighting the public, you know, with headlines. William and Harry, worlds apart. What can we do to heal this rift? My family, Harry even told us while promoting his memoir spare, he said, even if there was some kind of arrangement between him and the royal family, for he and Megan to come back to, you know, the royal family, there is a third party, the media, the tabloids, that will do everything in their power to make Harry and Megan's lives impossible because of how racist they are. And my family, that is true. Very, very true. But yet, you are having the tablets gaslight the public into believing that, oh look, even the tablets want for that to, for William and Harry to heal the rift they have. To resolve their problems with each other. My family, William has been jealous and envious of his brother Harry for a very, very long time. A very, very long time. That envy does not end in a single day. It just does not. William is jealous. He is envious of his brother Harry. Very, very jealous and envious, my family. And you want proof? Think about what happened yesterday. Think about what happened yesterday. On the day that Harry is set to give an address at the World Child Charity Awards, on that day, like a miracle, like a miracle has happened, William, for the first time in months, does an engagement. For the first time in months. It's a miracle. A miracle. A miracle. The guy has been on vacation. And my family, he begins so-called doing an engagement on the day that Harry is set to give an address for well child. <laughs> it's a miracle. It's a miracle. My family, a miracle. You know? Do you think it'd be a coincidence what William did? My family, I think not. It just goes to show my family. William continues to be jealous of Harry Meghan and wants to continue engaging in this one-sided competition against Prince Harry. And that is a fact. And that is the truth and nothing but the truth. William has no intention of healing or mending the rift. Now, I recall a comment yesterday on our YouTube channel from, you know, one of our members who said that, you know, Bran, don't say that William wants to destroy Prince Harry and Meghan. You know, I responded. I say this because it is the truth. It is the truth. I mean, Look what happened yesterday. William has been on vacation for months now. For months now, rarely even seen. On the day that Harry is coming to the UK for the World Child Awards to support kids with serious illnesses, my family, on that day, William does an 
engagement. It goes to show my family, because that person, you know, was saying that we should be hoping that this rift will be healed. And my family, I don't see it happening. I, I, I just don't. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't. I, I really don't. The proof is yesterday. What happened yesterday? It speaks a lot. It says a lot. On the day that Harry comes to the UK, William, mysteriously, like a miracle, goes to do an engagement. It shows he continues to engage in this one-sided competition with someone who doesn't even live in the UK. You know? That is what it shows. That's what you can learn. And if you can understand that, then you understand there is no way the rift between William and Harry gets healed. There is no way, you know, things get fixed. There is no way. There is no way. Because William continues to engage in this one studied competition against Prince Harry. And that's why, my family, I don't see, I don't see the rift between William and Harry being healed. I just don't see it. You know? I just don't see it. I don't see it one bit. And I'm not saying this with malice or anything. I just don't see it. The only way I can see any so-called rift being healed is basically if the royal family see Harry begging. There is nothing that is destroyed. That's the, that's the only way they can take, they can have Harry. If he is destroyed. If his marriage is ruined. That's the only way my family can see. You know? It's the only way. When your reputation has been destroyed. When no one wants to work with you. That's the only way I can see. The family being like, okay, fine. Now we can take Harry back. When he's miserable, unhappy, lonely. That's, that's the only way I can see still things happening. And that's why I keep saying William won't stop until he destroys his brother's life. My family. Because he believes he can only stand when Harry is on his knees. That's what William believes. That he can only stand when Harry is on his knees. And my family he believes that because of what happened in history. Years ago, decades ago, my family, the Queen's sister, Margaret, the, let me call her Margaret. Margaret was way more famous than the Queen. Margaret was way more famous than the Queen. Years ago. And then she was smeared, attacked. And then she was forced to give up the man she loves. And then she was miserable all her life. And the queen got some good press. And she benefited from her own sister's misery. And look at the immense reality she got over the years. When her sister was destroyed. When her sister was unhappy. You know, William sees the same thing. My family sees the same way, feels the same way. He can only rise when Harry is on his knees. And that's why the tablets, the firm, are working so hard to destroy what Harry has in the US. His marriage to Meghan Markle. To split Harry from his wife and kids. Lonely like Margaret. Lonely like Margaret. That is what they want to achieve, my family. You know, you just... It's a matter of using common sense. I don't say this with malice, my family. I say this because it is the truth. It is the truth. William continues to compete against Harry. And my family, I have said quite a number of times how all this ends. It only ends when one person is destroyed. And William, the farm tablets want that person to be Prince Harry. They want that person to be Prince Harry. My family. 
As I've always said, they don't want Harry back because they miss Prince Harry. They want him back alone, miserable and happy. To control him, that's how they want him back. And Harry will never get what he seeks. A family from Charles or William. He won't get that. He won't. He won't. You know, I'm sorry to tell you this, Harry, but you're not going to get that from Charles or William. You won't. The only thing they want from you is to destroy you. So my family, distance and space is important. Distance and space is important. My family, distance and space from Charles and William is important. And Harry must never ever allow the family that comes from him to be destroyed by the family he comes from, from Charles, William. He must not ever allow that, my family. My family, you know, and someone even said that this, in response to Daily Mail having breaking news, Harry spotted by tourists. Someone said this, that this headline reveals more than what Daily Mail probably intended. Prince Harry pays solemn tribute to his grandmother by visiting her burial ground. The pomp and PR. While the others use say grandmother's death anniversary to smile and greet crowds elsewhere as a so-called tribute. Kate and William are doing that. Shameful. Shameful, shameful, shameful. It tells about their priorities. My family, I believe I have said enough. Clearly, first of all, carnival or so-called experts like Christian know nothing about what Harry and Meghan are doing. They have no sources, no insiders. They know nothing. And I love how Harry moves in Britain. I love how he moves with stealth. Like nobody knows where he is. Nobody. And I like this. And I like this so, so much. Harry truly has a very, very good security team, my family. Very, very good, I have to say. My family, now tell me your thoughts about what we have just discussed. Once again, Daily Mail, you know, using Harry for clicks and ensuring that Harry is basically, you know, visibly seen to profit off of him and to hear your opinion on that, my family. And also, UK media basically begging the tourist who got a photo of Prince Harry, you know, to for that photo to use to make clicks and people being like for so what why do you want these photos to attack him the tide is turning and people are refusing to be used as part of the attacks as mere campaign against harry megan and to me i say thank you to everyone who refuses to be used as part of you know the smear campaign against harry megan thank you my family now tell me your thoughts about what we have just discussed. I want to hear your opinion. Harry, you truly loved your grandmother. You truly were, are, a grandson who truly cared about his grandmother. And I hope you continue healing from the loss of your grandmother, the late Queen Elizabeth II. My family, I believe I have said enough. But maybe before I end this video, let me show you a clip of what Harry said to the well child, you know, at the well child, I was my family. Please kindly look at this. To her. <clears throat> as you know, I was unable to attend the awards last year as my grandmother passed away. As you also probably know, she would have been the first person to insist that I still come to be with you all instead of going to her. <clears throat> And that's precisely why I know exactly one year on that she is looking down on all of us tonight. Happy we're together, continuing to spotlight such an incredible community. As you know... My family, you've heard what Harry has said. And I really hope that Harry is able to heal from the passing of his grandmother to continue, please, healing. Now, tell me your thoughts about what we have just discussed. I want to hear your opinion. And with that and so much more, stay tuned to this video. God bless Harry, Megan, Artie, Lily Bettina, and Doria Braga. And all of you, members of Squad at Home. Hey, never wins, love wins, and stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. Harry, keep healing.
and Harry, we always stand with you. And once again, Harry, you are loved and always know that you are loved. I believe I have said enough. Stay tuned to this video. Love you always and forever. Hello, members of Zisco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much family from the bottom of my heart and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Love you family, always and forever. Sayonara.